but since we've talked about the Scottish Rite and the York Rite, mm -hmm. I think I know what you're going to say when I ask you this. But I get asked all the time, what should I do, Scottish Rite or York Rite? What should a guy do? Mm -hmm. What should he do? Oh, what should he do first? And how quickly after he gets raised should he join? Let's really get controversial. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think overall, um, every serious student of Freemasonry uh, needs to needs to belong to the York Rite and the Scottish Rite uh, because those two organizations were created uh, simply for uh, further light in masonry, uh, further Masonic education beyond the lodge. And since it is so obvious that the third degree of, of craft masonry uh, ended with an unfinished story where a, um, something was lost and a substitute was given with some sort of, of promise that someday you may may discover you know what was lost and then that was the last degree of Freemasonry how are you supposed to discover that without any further uh, information or education and so it, it was always obvious I think to the authors authors of Freemasonry that they never intended the third degree to be the last degree of Freemasonry. They intended the third degree to be the first of the higher degrees of Masonic philosophy. And so I advise men to experience the York Rite first uh, before the Scottish Rite, because the York Rite's degrees are conferred in the Lodge setting from which they were raised and they're already familiar with, and the teachings of the chapter and council, uh, as you as you know, stay very true to the story of of the, of the symbolic degrees, the craft lodge degrees, and so to me, it's the it's it's the easiest bridge to to cross over, is just to go from the third degree to the to the chapter degrees, and. The Scottish Rite, of course, then, is clearly the university course in Freemasonry. Uh, it's, it goes much deeper in its breadth and depth of philosophy. It covers a lot of traditions and themes of, of knowledge that the York Rite uh, does not cover. And so it's just a continuation of your journey. If you really want to make the study of your life uh, something that uh, is near and dear to you, which I think most men should uh, should should be engaged with. So, uh, how quickly I I disagree with these guys that say, "Oh no, you know, you, you need to stay in the blue lodge for six months or a year. You need to go through the chairs before you experience any other body of masonry." That's that's just nonsense. Uh, if 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 the objective and the quest of masonry is for a man to discover who he is, then he has to learn how to overcome himself. He cannot do that without, without awakening his consciousness. And if he awakens his consciousness, then he's going to have to encounter the ruffians within himself in order to overcome himself, it'll be the hardest challenge he ever takes on in his life, and yet it is so essential if he is ever going to affirm himself in his own skin. Every man makes that journey. Some men are not as successful at it as others, and the and the you know the world is full of of, of examples of men uh, who never learned how to be men, and so um, it takes all of this. It takes all of the education that we can get. It takes all the guideposts. It takes all of the great truths from the past. It, it, you know, it, it takes the experience of the generations of living, you know, for us to take this path on ourselves and to do it in private conclaves of men whom we can trust in, in a safe culture of guys that, that are doing the same thing together. And it's, we're the only organization in the world that offers this for men. And so I, I, I just, you know, I, I just, just 
I, I just can't imagine uh, someone stopping at the master mason degree and saying that's enough. Uh, so I, I think I think it's important to go through the chapter and council degrees of the York right. I think it's important to go through the Scottish right. And I think it's especially important if you go through the Scottish right uh, to join a valley that confers um, a number of the degrees of the Scottish right. 